Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to remove duplicate records in Dataflow task. We will be using aggregate transformation to remove these duplicate records with the combination of uh, conditional, conditional split. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we have to have a flat file from where we are reading the data. Okay, if you are reading the data from a SQL table or a record table, you can already eliminate you know by using sql query or pl sql query you don't need to have aggregate transformation and condition split in the data flow task okay so this is more like a scenario when you are reading the data from the file system such as uh, text files xml file or excel files so in those scenarios you will be using this type of uh, transformation such as aggregate and condition split to remove the duplicate records okay so here is our file that has some duplicate records. If you take a look, these are the duplicate records and also the, this record is the, the third record that's exactly matching with the first two records. Number three is uh, three with Chris Tree, Smith and this address, this record is also duplicate and this is only happening twice in this uh, uh, test file, okay? And we have only one record that's unique record. There is no duplicate for this record, okay? So these all records should be removed or redirected in our data flow task. And this is the only record that should be loaded into the SQL server table. I have created a SQL server table according to the definition of this file. So let me show you. So this is our uh, customer table that has ID, first name, last name, address, and phone number. Okay. So in this table, we will be loading the data. Okay. All right. Let's create SSIS package. So right click uh, on SSIS packages in your solution you have open by using SSDT or bids and create a new SSIS package. Okay. If uh, you do not know how to create a new package uh, and how to create a project and all that, I have a lot of videos and uh, you, you can you know walk through uh, any of them and that will help you to create a new SSIS project and uh, from scratch. Okay, so let's rename this package and say remove duplicate records. All right, remove duplicate records. Okay, so first of all, we, as we're reading the data from the flight file, we have to have used data flow task. Okay, to, uh, inside the data flow task, we will be using flat file source. Okay, so bring the flat file source to the um, data flow pan and then open it create a new connection browse it go to the file that you want to load okay and then uh, uh, keep this setting pretty much it because we have the header uh, row with the column names and uh, we don't have any text qualifiers and then go to columns okay and uh, it's comma delimited so that's fine and now these are the columns you are using it these are the output columns and their data width will, uh, that, that that's uh, what it is showing right now if uh, id is going to be let's say signed integer or integer you can change it okay the same thing you can do uh, with your uh, column widths and uh, column names as well okay for the phone number let's say it is 10 in our table so i am changing to 10 okay preview the data and everything looks good okay retain null values from the from a source as null values in the data flow that means if you are reading some blank values and you want to convert them to null that's what you can do i don't want to do it i just want to read them as it is i have the video that you can you know take a look and it will explain each and everything about that and show you how to uh, do it and it has a real uh, you know scenario where you can use it okay so go to columns hit okay now the very next transformation that we need to use is the aggregate transformation. Here, what we want to do, we want to aggregate or apply group by on all these columns and get the count. So if by using the group by and count, the, the count is more than one, you know, that, that means they are duplicate records. So like exactly like T-SQL, when you write your T-SQL, you say select ID, first name, last name, address, phone number, and then you say comma count star and then you say group by all these column so this is exactly happening so we are going to um, group by all of these you know columns and then we are taking the count you can always change the name of this count all let's say we say record count record count all right so we have this one okay so hit okay and now we bring conditional split 
what we want to do here we want to remove the duplicate records or branch out into two uh, outputs one good and one duplicates okay so what we have here in the columns we have record count all right so what I want to do I want to name this output as a good records okay and then uh, see if I will uh, hover on my mouse here the the, the data type is uh, something uh, I have to take care but I will do so I'm saying if uh, the record count is one so it means that's a unique record okay if it is two or three or four that's a duplicate record okay so, so that should be going here all right but let's uh, first, first uh, fix this uh, data type so it is the data type for uh, record count is dt underscore ui8 okay so it's unassigned integer that's what it is so on this side what we can do we can cast this to the same thing so we said dt underscore ui integer and 8 okay or we can convert this one to dt underscore um, ia4 or i8 and then we don't have to do this one so we are casting actually the value of 1 to the unsigned integer and uh, that's what we are doing so now any record that count has count one that will be here in good records output and any other one will be going to the conditions for default output let's make them uh, duplicate records okay you name it or you don't I mean it's your choice but uh, you know it's a good thing um, it will help okay so now once you are done we can bring the multicast here because we want to just ignore the duplicate records we don't care about them and also bring the destination so we want to good load the good records okay oladb destination i'm using multicast to show you results i don't need it but i can use only the uh, one output but i'm going to show you both okay so here i'm going to say good records all right and then make a connection to the SQL server table I have this uh, connection my server name and uh, database so I'm going to leave this one as it is and select the table where I want to load the records and then map them if they are same name in the source and destination they will map automatically if not then you have to do manually okay and if you see that there is a record count we don't care about this column so you know we don't have any output uh, or destination column to map for this one all right so this is it we can leave this one as it is and this, our package is complete but if we, I want to show you the records I want to put multicast here I will remove that later and duplicate records output is already uh, shown up here okay so double click add a data view data view is the interface that will show you the records while debugging okay now what we are want to do let's run our SSIS package what should happen we have five records you know and then uh, for uh, let me see maybe we have more <laughs> so one two three four five okay so there are uh, these are the duplicate records so we have six records actually and three are uh, uh, these fives are duplicates and uh, the number one ID with number one are is happening three times and the uh, two and uh, sorry three with three is happening two times so five records should be rejected you know and uh, this is the only record that should go in SQL server table okay let's run the SSIS pack, uh, package and see how it is working we make sure there's no data in the table already okay run the SSIS package okay so we see that duplicate records we see that uh, this record is duplicate and uh, this record is duplicate and it will show us uh, the count in front of them so the first record was happening three times in the file okay let's expand that and then the other one is happening two times okay so we can close this one and we can go for go ahead here and in good records we see that only one record is loaded to the OLADB destination all right so let's go check the table and see that okay so the good record is loaded and the duplicate records are redirected okay so what we can do now 
before we deploy our package to the production or UAT, we can remove this one, okay? Because we do not need this one anymore and you, would, you do not want to have uh, data viewer in your package. And if uh, you would have it and uh, you try to run that uh, by using SQL Server agent job, that will fail, okay? So our package is ready. Thanks very much for watching this uh, video and I will see you guys in the uh, next video.